So today we're going to talk about how we combine like terms. And when I say combining like terms, what I mean is we're going to collect each term, which is each one of these things right here, so that the similar ones we add and subtract to each other. So for this first one, I have 8x plus 5y minus 17x. Well, since each one of these has an x in it, I can add this one and this one together. So 8x minus 17x is negative 9x plus 5y. Well, since y, this one has x and this one has y, we can't combine those because they're not like terms. So this is all we can do with this particular one. We're going to do the same thing with this one. This has an x, this has an x, this is just a constant. So we're going to combine these. 7x minus, er, excuse me, 7x plus negative 11 gives me negative 4x and then minus 8. So sometimes when you start combining like terms you might want to circle it so you see which ones you add together, especially when you have more than one term. So we have 3a, negative 9a, 2a, 5c and negative c. So now we're going to add these together. 3a minus 9a gives me negative 6a plus 2a gives me negative 4a plus 5c minus c gives me 4c. Okay, now this one is a little bit more difficult than any of the ones we've done before because we have terms that have a squared in them. So first we're going to look for all the um, similar terms. So this is 3xy, this is 4xy, and this one has x squared y and, y and xy squared. Well, these, this one is not similar to the other three because this one has x squared y, this one's just xy, xy, xy squared, and this one is not similar for the exact same reason. So we're going to add these two together, we're going to get 7xy, and then we just have to recopy this second part because we don't have any terms similar to those. Okay, now this one is a little more tricky. So I'm gonna just going to circle all the like ones in the same color. So this is 5y squared x. This is x squared y. This is, oh look, this is another y squared x. Here, and that's all we have for y squared x's. Okay, look, this one is negative 2x squared y, and this is negative x squared y. And then we have 2xy and 3xy. So now we're going to add these all, each term together. So we're going to add these two, those two, and those two. So 5y squared x plus 8y squared x gives me 13y squared x, negative 2x squared y minus x squared y gives me negative 3x squared y, and 2xy plus 3xy gives me positive 5xy. Now this one's a lot simpler. Each one of these terms has an a in it, so we're just going to add them together. 11 plus 30a gives you 41a, minus 18 gives us 23a. So that's all we're doing with combining like terms, but make sure you come back 
and we're going to talk about solving equations.